Hey guys, just me here. Um, and but it's not just me though. There's a special guest. Am I supposed to show it? Come, now? don't wait till afterwards. There's a special guest. Come on out, whoever it is. Come on out. It's a you, it's put your mouse it. Pad. You're messing this up. It's your bad. mouse pad. Obviously, it's me. Okay, I fine. Thank you. Is Eddie Burbank. Crumbs on this. Shut down. Hell, even I was eating brioche. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, Eddie and I usually have a podcast, new episodes every Friday, so please go check the description and subscribe to the podcast. It's pretty good. It's all right. It's, it's not. It's not that great. Oh, real quick, I want to mention, if you don't know, I've got a P.O. box in the description. We're going to start opening up some packages that you send in. If you address them to Gus and Eddie, to both of us, we'll open them live on the podcast. Right. But if you <laughs> haven't watched my stuff and have one thing, I'll open my own later. So don't flood Gus's with anything that's just mine. If I see any Eddie-only packages, I'll burn them outside his bedroom door. I actually agree with it. Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at a Blockbuster employee training video from 1990 that we have not seen before. Not once. Sabrina pulled it up. It's supposedly a real banger. So uh, let's take a little blast from the past and check this bad boy out. <laughs> That is the most 1990 intro yeah. I've ever seen, especially because it's Blockbuster. That was great. I actually love that. Oh, excuse oh, me. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, hi, Mrs. Hi. Harris. I didn't see you come in. You know, we have a lot of different movies you might not have seen before. Yeah, no shit, it's Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of movies here. You've been missing. We got new ones. I don't know if you know, they keep making them. There's, we got fucking Flubber in the back Whoa. if you want to go see that shit. <laughs> I don't know if that's came out yet because it's only 1990, but it's back there, so. I'm sure I'll find something. That shot is already way too long. Way, way, way too long. It's like 10 <laughs> seconds. Completely silent. The intro had so much music. <laughs> We're just waiting as she does her whole day for the rest of the video. It's just her stocking. Stocking is here. <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's up in the TV. Oh, shit. Yo, Marie, did you tell the customers we have a lot of movies here? <laughs> Who are you? The name's Buster. Buster Sales. I love them for making his name Buster Sales. Yeah. I, I love everything about this so far. I thought he was going to be like Buster Blockworth or something. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? I am a professional opportunist. That doesn't sound very nice. No, not that kind of opportunist. What? what? What kind of opportunist? What the fuck does that mean? Is this a sex is a sexual thing? It is the 90s in Hollywood. <laughs> hey, it's me, Ooh. Ball Buster here. <laughs> I know an opportunity when I see it. Sure. Like the time Mrs. Harris's son, Brian, asked you out. And you turned him down to go to Jane Allworth's stupid slumber party. Why would he know that? <laughs> Have you been fucking watching her? He's following her home to like, all the traffic cams. Oh, she's going to Denny's tonight. We'll talk more about opportunities later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go? Did he watch her ass as she's just leaving? <laughs> Mm. And then he just fades out. Well, as usual, you're out of the new releases I wanted. That was really fucking passive that was aggressive. Oh, <laughs> dude, holy shit. No wonder she hasn't had sex with Brian yet. Um, no, I don't think this one. No? Yeah, I think I'd go with those two plus this one. I'll tell Brian I said hi. Okay. And I'll see you when you bring those back. Do you think CCTV Blockbuster guy is going to give her shit for, like, downselling and taking one of the things away? Yeah, he's going to be like, you could have given her 15 movies. <laughs> <laughs> And you think you can spot an opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? He's actually, like, he's not a bad actor. You can tell he was like, this is my role of a lifetime. I am Buster Sales. <laughs> he seems like a movie villain. Here. He does, yeah. Look at it this way. You have Sean Connery. You add Mrs. Harris's interest. And what do you get? You get more rentals and a happy customer. I told her we had other Connery movies. But can you name one? Act with good customer service. Get the picture? Look at this list of <laughs> No, go sell some shit, you dumbass. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of here. You could have said The Last Crusade. You could have said fucking... I don't know any other Sean Connery movies. Seems like you missed an opportunity. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi, Kristen. How's it going? 
pretty bogus, actually. I may be sitting again this weekend. How many fucking movies is she grabbing? <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody rent that many movies at once? No, that's ter- even when VHSs were relevant. What is that, seven movies? <clears throat> what now? Let's try and guess what Buster Sales is gonna say about what she did wrong here. She's already got seven movies. That's the thing, is I don't know what it could possibly be. What now? You want to keep an eye on this. I see an opportunity coming. (laughs) (laughs) That's what he says when he's about to climax. I see an opportunity coming. Hey, are you okay? You look a little freaked out. Huh? Yeah, I was just checking the monitor. That's all. Oh. Oh, I see. See what? What? <laughs> Sweet Christ, focus. I'm trying to fucking check out. There's yeah. no one here. Like, really think about her situation. She sent down the movie. She's like, you ready to check out? Yeah. What now? <laughs> That's great. I'll take it. Oh, and you know what else? My little brother Spike has a birthday coming up. Her brother's name is Spike? It's <laughs> a dog. It's actually Spike Lee. Spike Lee. It's her little brother. <laughs> wow. It was the 90s. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I want to see Buster Sales not even talk about sales. I want him to give like a like one of the sexual harassment ones or something. Yeah. Just like, see, you saw an opportunity you shouldn't have taken. <laughs> Believe me, fella, I've been down that road before. Why do you, Yikes. <laughs> why do you think they got to lock me away in the TV from now on? Can't grab from up here. So, how was that? Not bad. One out of two, not bad. One out of two? What the fuck are you talking about, About dude? 50%? He's like, there were six other movies she could have (laughs) bought. One out of two. Dude, Get away! Stop! <laughs> no! Where's Hunt for Red October? <laughs> Look at his face, too. Uh, whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> on Golden Pond! This is, like, for sure stalking. I would I would have pepper sprayed this guy by now, easily. I would have done it when he walked in, but that's why I didn't work at a blockbuster <laughs> when I was younger. Excuse me, is there something I can help you find? Oh, I doubt it. I'm a 60s movie buff. I'm kind of a 60s movies freak slash kill animals in my backyard freak. <laughs> and I've been to eight video stores in the last three days looking for the last movie, I don't know the name, that had both Peter Sellers and, and Woody Allen in it. Nobody has it. How is he looking? If you only know the actors are in it, you have to look at every movie title. Yeah, and he's just like really quickly just staring at the box art and throwing it no. down. <laughs> no Woody Allen in this one. Oh, I don't know. That's a pretty rare title. Let's take a look. Oh, great. (laughs) (laughs) He upgraded from the first part by going... Mm. She's just full. That's not gonna work anymore. (laughs) Hey, dipshit! Marie, you fucking idiot! (laughs) And I could call you, and you would be the proud owner of the last movie with Sellers and Alan. Fantastic. Uh, that's just what I need for my collection. <laughs> Listen! I wish we had a whistle for it. Just full. go ahead and put the sound effect in. Whee! Oh, he's one of my favorites. Especially in the Pink Panther. <laughs> Thank! Thank you, fucking dumbass! Hey, okay, I'll go get you a copy. <laughs> okay. He's just, what does he have back there in the TV? Does he have a bunch of props? He's just a prop room, yeah. The next one's just a huge gong. (laughs) He starts shooting at her. (laughs) Marie just blanks in the air. Hey! Hey! hey, 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 Ow! Ow! I mean, look at her in the store. She's going, ow, ow. (laughs) People are just shopping. Ow! 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 Ouchie! I love, again, too, we've established with the rules of the universe that people can't hear or see the TV, <laughs> but they can see her. Yeah. So she's walking through just going, ow, ow. <laughs> also, how loud is the TV? Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. falling, ow, my ears. I'm just trying to get your attention. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'd rather you stick with the whistle. What is it this time? I found the man his movie. Yes. And you're still batting 500. How so? 
500 is an excellent batting <laughs> average. That is a fucking record-setting batting average. Okay, here's your tapes and your popcorn and your raisinets. You'll be a real hit with Brian and all his friends. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have these back Saturday by midnight. Okay, thanks. Oh, and if you see Brian, tell him Mom's delivery service has him covered. Okay. I'm sure she'll lead in with that flirt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brian, Mom wanted me to say Mom's delivery service. Yeah. They're just both, like, they're on a date and she's just like, Hey, Brian, wait. Mom's delivery service. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye. This cocky fuck. He's not even saying that. He's just waiting for her to mess up. He's like, I'm about to have a bomb go off to get her attention. Just waiting for it to tick down. He's going to start hucking popcorn at her. He is. He's going to... Oh! Hey! hey! What's the big idea? Oh, you again. How is she not pissed that he's still there? Honestly, she's like, let me work yeah. my job. Thanks, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, we'll see. Here comes Marge Simpson. Simpson. You know, the one that keeps trying to... Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? what? Just like, fully walks in. Homie! <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> She's just like, is that fucking Marge Simpson? Here comes Marge Simpson. You know, the one that keeps trying to introduce you to her son, Doug. Doug? What? Doug? Wait, okay. Is this a fake character that they named Marge Simpson? Coincidentally? Or did they do it? I'm so okay. The Simps when did the Simpsons start? It's I think already it was been like on the 89, air. right? 1989. Yeah. So the Simpsons were already on the air. Yeah, well I guess they're like, okay, how do we avoid a copyright claim? And her son Doug. <laughs> Cowabunga, sir. <laughs> Doug's a nerd. Yeah, maybe so. But Mrs. Simpson is an opportunity. If you can find it. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to have sex with Doug to sell movies to Marge. <laughs> She's like, I don't think that's part of my job at all. It is now. Hello, Mrs. Simpson. Hi, Marie. Marie, have you ever met my son, Douglas? Doug is a hard pass for me. <laughs> Doug is a fool. He hadn't said one word, I'm done. I don't want to say any Doug. If he looks like his voice would just go, <laughs> you don't want to date him. Hi, Doug. Hello, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> that was a full, like, 80s, 90s nerd where they have to be like, It's good to see you, Marie. <laughs> Look, she's pulling out her piece right now. <laughs> she's full Fuck out of here, Doug. Get out of here. Hi, Doug. Hello, Marie. <laughs> so, looks like you have everything you wanted. What the hell was that? I just don't. No! The best way to upsell is to make fun of customers with obvious disabilities. <laughs> they're like, making the blockbuster thing, they're like, okay, these are teenagers working here. How are we gonna hook them on with entertainment? Let's make fun of some disabled people. <laughs> we have over 6,000 titles in our store. Problem is, my husband Richard, he just goes bananas if I spend more than $10 on movies. <laughs> oh no, don't talk about that yeah. in front of anybody. <laughs> if I spend more than a penny, don't look at my makeup closely because something might be under there. <laughs> well, you are so helpful and clever. Doug, isn't she sweet? She's, she's sunshine on a cloudy day. Oh. Doug seems nice, I guess. Yeah, I'm fine with Doug now. I have no problems with him. Doug's cool. I wouldn't make fun of him like Buster Sales would. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't make fun of him like people might have done before they learned he had potentially a disability. Yeah, I said that he the the uh, <laughs> noise was before he spoke. But I made that joke before I think he made the noise. It was just the way he walked up. But this, it was a different time. It was yeah. the 90s when we made that joke. Come on, guys. <laughs> Besides, honestly, I don't think that old clunker of a VCR is going to make it through all these tapes the picture just isn't clear anymore have you cleaned your vcr heads recently no come to think of it i don't think we ever have well they say you should every 20 hours or so every 20 hours i never cleaned anything having to do with my vcr that, ever that's not even a full day yeah honey like, i'm at the office did you clean the <laughs> vcr heads yet today? it's like having a newborn like it's 3 a.m the alarm goes off <laughs> Oh, it's your turn to clean the VCR. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that'll be... 1584. Right, 1584. Here it is, 15, 50, 60, 70, 80, 
And one, two, three, four. <laughs> Remember when I said two minutes ago my husband would lose his shit if I spent over ten dollars? Oh yeah! Here's a twenty. What? Oh no! Fifteen eighty four. She's like, that's right. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go home and have a lovely night with Richard. Goodbye, Marie. Parting is such sweet sorrow. This is dark, dude. Uh... So, how was I? You were terrific. Don't you think Buster would just be like, hey, you forgot about the $10 thing. There's gonna be some horrible consequences. He's like, no, great job. Yeah. <laughs> I guess now I'm the opportunity expert. Okay, 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 already. This is her 20 years later. She's still stuck there haunted <laughs> by him. It looks like it's like It Follows. She passed the curse <laughs> on to somebody else. She made enough sales, and now the, the employee one less has to deal with Buster <laughs> sales for forever. Joan? Oh, Marie. Have we found a little friend to talk to? Oh, friend? Oh, no. I was... I right, was... Right, right? <laughs> Hi, Marie. Oh, Brian. Brian! It's Brian! <laughs> No, hey, come on, oh, I don't oh, do that. Sorry. I don't know how to I do thought, the blur effect. I thought I... I, I miss... I'm sorry. No. Nope. That's not... Tell Buster I said hi. So, let me shake his face. I don't like how friendly she was where it's like, first day, huh? Tell Buster I said hi. It's like, you were haunted for a couple of shifts. Yeah. <laughs> Had shit thrown at you yet? You learn, honey. <laughs> I can understand now why Blockbuster's gone out of business. Absolutely Just, understand. They've been throwing shit at people, yelling at employees. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Eddie Burback. I got a commentary channel. It's basically what you just watched, but without Gus, so not as interesting. I'm not in there. But we do do a weekly podcast every Friday. Go to the Gus and Eddie podcast channel. It's so fun. We have guests too. Sorry? No, we'll just be done. That's it. Ah, my ears! Hey, it's businessman Daniel here. <laughs> you ever get to the end of the day, or you're at school, or you're at your place of work, or he even here in your room, and you don't have any ideas? Whoosh. Businessman Daniel. Wait, no. Wait, no. I got an idea. Let me tell you about NordVPN. You hear that helicopter going overhead? You hear it? It's coming after me because of all the savings I'm about to offer you. NordVPN is the best way to keep your internet safe and to access all sorts of servers in over 61 countries. If you're a confused little cornhole, don't worry. Businessman Dan will explain it to you. These are the bad guys. This is your computer or smartphone. And I'm NordVPN. And look it. I'm getting in the way. Ow. Can't touch me. Too bad. NordVPN saving your little butt cheeks today. <laughs> Do you think I have time to protect myself online? No, I don't. Look how busy I am. Calendar's full, boys. What are you going to do about it? NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash Gus Johnson and you'll get 75% off of a three-year plan. I know my name's Businessman Daniel, but it doesn't matter. You go to nordvpn.com slash Gus Johnson, you'll save all sorts of money. Also, if you use coupon code Gus Johnson at checkout, you get an extra month for free, you guys. That's a whole nother month. So... So swim on down to nordvpn.com slash Gus Johnson for, th uh, what is it, 75% off a three-year plan? That seems fine. I think it's like $2.99 a month. That's how much you spend on diapers every month. Get rid of your kid and just buy nordvpn.com slash Gus Johnson instead, okay? Thanks for watching the video. Bye, everybody. I'll try, I'll try more next time. <laughs>